Oh my god! That's insane! Oh, I'm a leg burner. The sandbar out there is insane. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I am at Steamer Lane. I'm gonna serve indicators, which is like inside of Steamer Lane down the cliff, which I'm probably gonna end up in cows, maybe making a loop because the waves are super long and they're actually pumping. I'm a little bit bummed though because I actually hurt my back. Probably because I haven't done any rest and recovery. My fault. I do have a chiropractor's appointment in like two hours. I'm gonna go get it checked out. Um, but I'm a little bummed because the waves are actually pumping at Steamer Lane and this would be a day where I would be like frothing off of my out of my mind. But I'm like contemplating which board to choose to keep my back from like flaring up um, because it really hurts. It's been hurting for like four days and the way I've been dealing with it was just saying it didn't exist, it wasn't there, and just not to think about it. But now, now I'm thinking about it. It's like day five, and I'm like, okay, this is a serious issue. And now I'm like trying to decide longboard or fish. The waves are like pretty solid out there. They're not crazy. The slot is crazy, but indicators is pretty mellow, and it's usually a longboard spot. But the sand is nuts. So many decisions to make. So I think I'm going to ride the fish, though, and just try to get like one or two waves. So that's my, that might be all I get, one or two waves. And if that's all I get, that's all you guys get to watch. So hopefully this session goes good and I can actually get something. Here's some good ones. And I see the sandbar is so thick and so wide out there. If I get a wave really far into the cowls, I'll be able to walk it back instead of having to grind out a crazy paddle. So, panda it is. Let's go get some waves. Are fully engaged. I need to go, but I just can't. My back's hurting. My body is sore. It is so good out there.
I don't even know what to say. That was so, so fun. I caught four waves, and out of those four waves, one of them was the longest wave I've ridden, maybe ever. It's hard to claim that, because I've had some really long rides out here, but that one was really, 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 really long. My legs were burning. Wow. The sandbars. That is a special, special thing right now. I'm like left speechless to wrap around in a cow. So I was sitting probably like indicators inside the, on the shoulder of Middle Peak and one just came through and went all the way around the corner into cows and just kept going and going. That is what surfing is about. Right there. Having fun. I went out in that session and I was like kind of my back was hurting. My back was hurting. And I wasn't that psyched because I was missing out on like the slot waves. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to like paddle that well against the current or do a lot of turns. But it didn't really even matter. It only takes one wave and I luckily got four. Four insane ones that psyched me out for the session. 10 out of 10. I did get my workout earlier today. Which I kept it again like mellow. I think this week I got to keep it somewhat mellow but still getting an hour in. I got to hit up the chiropractor now. Get this back done so I can go surf tomorrow morning. Lighting is dramatic. It's as dramatic as it can get. All right, guys. I went to the chiropractor. Boom. Yeah. Back is in pain. Um, rest of the body feels good though. Really sore. Uh, I think pushing it. This is day 13 of doing this. Definitely pushing the body to the absolute limit. But that's kind of the point. Like where's that limit and I want to push past it so I'm still doing the cold plunge chiropractor said be careful with it she said not to she didn't say not to do it so I'm gonna do it pushing past day 13 of the cold plunge it's going down all right guys I really gotta start doing this in the daytime because it's like freezing cold out here the water is cold it's actually pretty dirty too but uh, this is gonna help my body recover <clears throat> It's gonna keep me surfing the waves today were just absolutely insane I think I chose I, I know I chose the right board taking out the twin fin in a situation like that was super ideal I was able to maneuver and ride seriously one of the longest waves I can't believe I'm making that claim but I think that might be the longest wave I've ever ridden like seriously that's such a crazy crazy wave um, I'm so psyched and honestly I'm not that like worried about getting in this cold plunge. I'm just gonna do it, get it over with. Toast Fina's birthday today. We're gonna go eat some dinner. <clears throat> Good old cold plunge. Day 13 is done. Ah, the waves are still good. I'm probably gonna have to surf tomorrow morning, dawn patrol style. We've got a long day at work tomorrow. <clears throat> Lots of projects. So stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. The waves are still pumping. Hopefully I can get another crazy one. <laughs> 